We could do that. The Enema Queens, we could all have one on. The Enema Queens. Yeah, but I want one of those beach ones. They spent nearly a fortnight detoxifying their bowels on the path to health. So, choosing the right place to snack in Granada is crucial. Have you seen what this one's called? <laughs> uh, this looks like a place though. Yeah, this is, yeah it's <laughs> fit. So well, let's have a quick look at the menu just in case. Yeah, let's have a look at anyway. Don't kill yourself. No. Some pigs, pigs reared, reared on air comms. That's going to be nutty pork, isn't, isn't it? it? Oh, and smell fish and chips. Hamburger, egg, chips, sausage and bacon. Can I just stand and get the aroma? Colon style stuffed sweet peppers. <laughs> get out! <sighs> I could feel myself putting ten pound on just by smelling it. What else is there? Prawns in garlic olive oil. You should be able to have that. Yeah, you should be able to have that. If you were in that way. I mean, we can't. Again, because it's seafood at this minute in time, our systems would spit it out at the rate of knots. But you know, normally. Onion soup. That's got to be that. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and although they might have toyed with the idea of rebellion, ultimately the team do Amanda proud by choosing healthy options. Uh, cuatro zuma de nara. Cuatro zuma de nara. Well done. Chin chin, everybody. She is. <laughs> the stress of being back in the real world has already had Jodine feeling anxious, and now a certain aroma has seen Melissa's good intentions crash and burn. She's cadged a cigarette off a passing tourist. We might as well smoke it all now. Yeah. We've done it now, we might as well just smoke it all. Melissa's compulsive nature has had her addicted to junk food and cigarettes for many years. The detox has helped her get her desire for sugar under control and, rather impressively, ditch her 20-year smoking habit. I just want to acknowledge Melissa uh, for uh, giving me her three packet of cigarettes, so... Go, girl! And I would like to tell Melissa that uh, you have the group support and the staff support, OK? Oh, I've done it, I've done it, that's it. Yeah. Oh, no. well, everyone's looking at me that I feel so guilty. Are you enjoying it? Would you have a No, I wouldn't say. I'll never smart again. I feel sick. I can't believe I've just done that. But I only had a few puffs, right? And I'm disappointed, of course, that she actually had a cigarette. But we all know that Melissa has this tendency, this sort of attention-seeking tendency, and she herself admits that. And that's definitely part of what she's going through this week. So I'm pleased that it wasn't built up into some big, huge event. It's like in reality, you know, dancing. Pastries and the kebabs everywhere, and so it was hard. But I resisted the the food. I mean, that didn't bother me. But I just wanted that cigarette. But when I tasted it, it wasn't <sighs> enjoyable. I didn't enjoy it at all. All right, Melissa. Having the support of fellow detox patients is an important aspect of the whole experience.